Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of April 19th through the 25th. So what do we have for Taurus? Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. This is my deck. The link to order this deck is below. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus? News of legalities at the right place at the right time. So there's gonna you're gonna be hearing some news, obviously, about some legalities. However, that resonates with you. You're gonna find yourself at the right place at the right time as well in some situation. Let's get a couple more. I just put lotion on my hands so they're a little uh, sticky. This may be a sticky situation. Oh, they will not change ever. You could be dealing with this person. <laughs> Somebody that will not change. So, maybe the legalities has to do with whoever this person is. Hmm. Look deeper. Something is hidden. Something is hidden. Six months from now. So you may not hear of this for another six months. This is in the future position. Something is below the surface. It's going to happen. It's going to be shown at the right time. So six months from now is May, June, July, August, September, October. October. So something could happen in October. Right now it's not happening. It's below the surface, but it is going to happen. Hmm. One more card. The law is going to be involved. And when I say legalities, the law could be karma. It could be. Doesn't want commitment. You've got somebody here that does not want long-term commitment. This is a, well, we have a jackass, stubborn mule. Speeding causes accidents. You know, when I get speeding, uh, that means somebody rushed into something or they're rushing into something. Something is happening faster than it's meant to fast be, to happen. You know, and sometimes when, and if you're thinking about literal speeding, like if you're in a car, it could cause an accident, there could be news of legalities. And mules go slow. So, you know, maybe somebody needs to slow down. That's a message in itself. Something is gonna catch up to somebody and the uh, verdict is going to play out by October, okay? By October, there's going to be some sort of repercussions, put it that way. I feel like you're dealing with an individual who is extremely stubborn. They are not committed to whatever this situation is. Uh, they're hiding something and uh, maybe you're going to find it out because you're at the right place at the right time. Something could come about where you see something. Um, there's definitely in a hurry. Somebody is in a hurry. They need to slow down. If you're, and this is pro I think that right now, if you're dealing with somebody, take time to look. Look, 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 look. There's something that you are missing. You're missing something. So what do we have for Taurus? Mm. 
what do we have for Taurus? Goodness gracious, they're flipping. April 19th through the 25th. Six of coins reversed. Queen of coins. We have a fraud here. Somebody is, this is like a fraud, it's a con man, it's abuse of power, it's an abuse of generosity. You may want to hold on to your money, hold on to your value. This is your energy. You have, this is the gold, it's like you have the gold in your hand, you have the value, you have the abundance right in your hands and I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is this is a con man or a con person this person is is a con artist they may say they have something for you but they, they're not really committed and I feel like you know that they're not committed but there's some sort of rushing, you know, there's hurrying into something. Somebody may be pushing you. They may be pushing you now. Maybe they, they are unstable and they see your stability. Six of coins reversed. That is uh, unbalanced, financially unbalanced, not going in the right direction. They don't have a lot to offer. There's one-sidedness here. You're dealing with somebody who is not giving you what you deserve or they are don't plan to give you what you deserve. This is a con man. I think that you need to be careful. I do. This is this is a, a no answer. It is the six of wands reverse is a no. This is this is somebody that has no staying power. They don't have anything to offer you. And I feel like they're hiding it. With maybe they're hiding it between behind their smile. You know, they have such a, a great look. You know, they it, they look so genuine, they look so real, but they they don't have anything real to offer you. I feel like you're gonna be spending some money. You know, I think that you need to be careful. Be careful, you know. Uh this is like unemployment or a loss of money or a loss of a job. It's like uh, there's something that is hidden. Something is going to cost you. It is going to cost you. And you need to hold on to your money. Hold on to your money right now because I feel like there's something coming up where you're going to need that money. swords and the five of swords is a betrayal doesn't care who they hurt you are this is what this is this is a host hostilities but it's in the past position I feel like you have met up with somebody that has some sort of mentality where they don't care who they hurt they don't this is a snake Okay, you're dealing with a snake. I think that you need to be careful. You, you are definitely dealing with a snake. Okay, you are. This person will chew you up and spit you out. Um, they're af they may be, be just after your money or something like that. There's some sort of ulterior motive here as far as I'm concerned. Five of Swords, that is betrayal. It is defeat. I don't care who I hurt as long as I get what I want. So somebody is, and, and that is where they've been. And that's why this person has no intention of committing or giving you equal reciprocation. But their smile and their, they're very cunning. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely cunning. 
this person may be going through some legal issues of their own and that's why they're engaging with you you have something of value that they want you are stable and solid and secure Queen of Coins has a golden opportunity in her hands. Three of Wands reverse. That is unprepared. Lack of foresight. Wasting time. I think that you need to be practical. You need to be realistic. You need to slow down and look a little bit deeper at whoever it is that you're dealing with. I think that you may, somebody may be rushing you or they're pushing you or you rushed into something that seemed like it was perfect and I feel like you need to, uh, get grounded, get real, get practical. Four of coins reverse. This is something about financial stability. It's about money. This is unstable. It's about uh, upright. It's about stability. Reverse, it's letting go. It's opening up, giving. Somebody may wants your money. I think that you have, they, they do, and they want your money. Somebody wants, this is somebody that is a miser. Somebody that is extremely stubborn. That may have pulled the wool over your eyes. Be careful. Taurus, be careful. This is this is this is a person that uh, only cares about number one. Is out for number one and number one only. This is a uh, one hit wonder. Okay, this person doesn't have anything of value to give you. Unprepared. Oh, it definitely has something to do with financial stability. It does. Look at all the pentacles. This is about money. It's about stability. It's about, uh, you know, working together. Somebody wants to work with you. They want to use your skills. <clears throat> I feel like you have some sort of skill that makes you money. This is a, this is skills and look at all the money. This five of swords is betrayal. That is in the past. It is in the past. You're dealing with somebody that is ruthless. Queen of Cups reversed. This You could be dealing with somebody that is jealous, manipulative, scandalous, uh, wicked. You know, this is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn, uh, doesn't communicate well, um, isn't emotionally available. It feels like you're dealing with somebody that is very wishy-washy, that is uh, ungrounded, that is all over the place. I feel like you are giving your energy to an individual that speaks of love, that looks like love, but isn't really love. This is not really love. It doesn't look like it's love to me. I feel like you need to walk away before you get hurt. But if there's a lack of foresight here, you don't see it. I feel like you could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could also be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're dealing with somebody that does not care who they hurt. This is a heartless individual. I do think that... Whoever you're dealing with is going to be, they're not giving you what you deserve. They're not going to give you what you deserve. They're not emotionally in it. They're not in it for the right reasons. Their heart isn't in it.
I think that you know that they're never going to change. Maybe in six months you decide to let them go. But this news of legalities, I feel like, I feel like, I don't know if you're going to have to get the law involved to let this person go. You might have to get the law involved. You might have to, you know, get a restraining order or something like that to keep this person away from you. is a choice. It's a spur of the moment decision. Stepping into a new life. Obviously deciding to let something go. You're going to be deciding to let something go. You are. And it is six months. It is six months down the road. You think about this. Six, six, six. Six, six, six is about getting your life on, back on track. There's materialism here. Another message I have is to master your emotions and save your money. Save your money. Stop wasting your money. There's wasting money here. Stop wasting your money. Save your money. You may need it later. Don't spend your money at this time. Save it. Save your money. Um, this is a decision. This is a choice. Being at a crossroads, working together, working as a team. We have some sort of... Uh, new opportunity probably to work with someone else in the future but you have to choose to leave something behind this is this is making a choice stepping into unknown territory letting something go some of you may be expanding yourself and working with somebody new you're going to receive some sort of um Maybe you receive the offer this week and you need to take time to think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Do not rush into anything. Like we said, speeding causes accidents. Get grounded. Be practical. Be realistic. I do believe that you have an opportunity for... Uh, uh, the Two of Wands is a choice. There's the past and the future. You're at a crossroads. What do you do? Do you step into new territory or do you stay where you're at? You are going to be receiving an offer. Maybe you're going to be receiving an offer in six months, but I feel like you're receiving it soon. Very, very soon. And you may have to make a, a spur of the moment decision as to whether you want to keep working with somebody that you're working with now or you want to work with somebody new this at the right place at the right time means that you're going to spontaneously meet somebody okay and this may involve a new contract you think about new news of legalities somebody may be offering you something and i feel like you need to you're going to need to take time to think about this do you want to step into unknown territory and work together with somebody and learn new things and do things you've never done before? Or do you want to stay right, right where you're at right now? I think it's time to open up and it's time to let go of something that you have been holding on to. You have something, you, it feels like you have something that you can sell because this is a golden opportunity right in your hands. You have the gold. You have the value. You have the gift. Okay. You have it in your hands. And you are totally unprepared of an offer or an opportunity that is coming to you. And you, you're going to have to make a decision in regards to whether you want to travel to that new destination. You want to step into that new life. Or do you want to stay in your present situation? I think you've dealt with a loser in the past. This is a loser. It is. This is a loser. That betrayed you. That hurt you. I mean, that's what the Five of Swords is. This is somebody that, you know, chewed you up and spit you out. This is somebody that is uh, emotionally 
bankrupt, emotionally bankrupt. This person that is emotionally bankrupt, I believe, is getting the news of legalities because it's right there. It is. And I feel as though you are going to be receiving something or you're going to get something of value. You're probably going to be working with somebody new. Somebody wants you, wants you or your, you to work with them. Put it that way. They want you to work with them. And this is a golden opportunity. It really is. Anyhow, two of wands. This is a spur of the moment decision to expand yourself. You may meet this person. Obviously, you're going to meet this person over the web. Or you're going to maybe communicate over the web. This is about expansion. You, you're going to be expanding yourself. Somebody may want to work with you as a team to expand you. Some of you may be starting your own business. Or this could be business expansion. In six months from now, I feel like you are really going to be opening up. I think in six months from now, your finances are going to get better. I think you're going to be doing something a little bit different than you have been doing. You don't even see it, but that's what's going to happen. You may be working for somebody that isn't paying you well. You know, and this could be a change of job, a change of... Yeah, change in your job or a change in what you do. Eight of Swords. I want to clarify this person over here, whoever it is that you're dealing with, trapped. Somebody is keeping you bound. They're keeping you confined. You need to break free from this individual. There's there's some sort of reevaluation that is needed. And I think that you are going to be reevaluating your current circumstances. This is confinement, it is restrictions, it is being held back by an individual. Maybe this person uses emotional emotions as a, as a tool to control you. I think that you need to break free. You have a means to escape, but you need to find your uh, ability to escape. You need to master your emotions and escape a situation before you get hurt. Okay, I feel like um, you've been missing something. Obviously, you've been missing the boat. You've been missing. Somebody is hiding something from you. And, the, and, and you've been too blinded because of their smile, because of their look, because of how well they speak. You've been too blinded to see who they really are. But I feel like somehow this week there's going to be some sort of realization. I mean, the Queen of the Pentacles are reality checks. You may get some sort of reality check. You may uh, just realize something that this person is never going to change. I also feel like you're dealing with somebody who has anger issues. But they hide it very, very well. This person is uh, non-communicative, doesn't communicate well, hides their feelings, doesn't really... You know, this person may say, I love you, but their actions don't... They don't match up with their words. I feel like you have been in some sort of mental turmoil that has been caused by another person. I feel like there's some sort of abuse here, an abuse of power. It almost, it, but I feel like it's a giant over you. There's this, this giant um, shadow. It's like a demon, you know, but it's, it's like a, there's like this big giant over you that has been, uh, holding you down but you can step out it's a shadow it's a shadow so i don't know if you're dealing with a capricorn or pisces or something like that it could be a cancer it could be a scorpio um anyhow i feel like you have been trapped in a situation that you need to break free from you have the power within you you need to take your power away from this individual
there's some sort of abuse here. And I think you didn't see it, but I think you see it now because I feel like there's some sort of pain. There's some sort of bleeding. This hurts. It hurts. I feel like this person is hurting you. Anyhow, I feel like this this week you are going to get some sort of reality check. Or you're going to be, maybe you receive an offer from somebody that could help you to break free from this situation and you think about it. I think that you may have rushed into something. I think you're going to be deciding this week whether you want to stay or go. This is a decision. So this is what this week is about. In six months is when things play out. Six months is when we have like the climax per se. Which is, we have a 10 here, which is October. Something is going to happen in October. I feel like you may be... Uh, breaking free from a situation that you may have uh, got on board with too quickly. Three of Wands reversed, lack of foresight, unprepared. Trapped, now you're trapped. You need to break free. I feel like you're going to be working with somebody new, that somebody's going to be helping you. Wheel of Fortune is good fortune. It's being at the right place at the right time. Something is going to happen this week which that changes your destiny. This is a karmic cycle that is coming to an end. Good luck is on its way. This is the Wheel of Life spinning you in a new direction. This is life that is always changing. It's a positive change. It's very fortunate. So we do have something that is ending. This is the universe, okay, that is spinning you in some sort of new direction spontaneously. It's just like, here it comes, and boom, there you are. You're, you're here, you're at this point, you know, you're at this place, and it, it brings you something fortunate. You could run into somebody spontaneously, and it just changes everything. You're definitely going to be receiving an offer or you're going to be coming up with a plan because you could be planning. You, you, something could just happen where you come up with a plan. But that four of coins reversed is letting go of something that you were holding on to. You were holding on to it because it was, it looked good. It looked really, really good. But I think you're going to be realizing that whatever it is that you are holding on to is, this is, you know, you might be holding on to a jackass. You know, you need to uh, let it go. You need to expand your horizons and work with someone new. So I feel like this week you're going to be uh, making a decision about your future. And this is a big decision, and it's a good one. It really is. It is a positive change. And I feel like there's something that is happening in unison with the universe, where the universe is bringing you a new opportunity that puts you in this position to make this decision, okay? So anyway, get prepared for a change. And it is a positive change. This change is in your favor. This is a fortunate change. This is going to break you free from some sort of confinement. You have been in a situation where, you know, it hasn't been comfortable, but it's been safe. And I think it's about time for you to step outside of your safety zone and do something that you have, haven't done. You know, that's what I think is going to happen. I think you're going to be doing something that you have never done before. Could be traveling. Some of you may be traveling. 
I do see you expanding, whether you are expanding your business or you're expanding your horizons or you are just uh, going in a new direction. You are. What I was saying was you are going to be making a decision this week to let something go. This is meant to be, so we have a chapter that is ending. I think that you are going to be uh, moving in a new direction. You're going to be breaking free from something that is not healthy. You're going to be stepping into unknown territory. I feel in October things are really going to... Uh, pay off for you. This is a re in, in October, you are going to receive your reward. This is a reward for your hard work for breaking free from whatever this is. I do feel like this week you are probably going to uh, I think that you're going to be receiving some unwelcome news about an individual that you have been dealing with that is uh, angry you know you may just find something out you may find something out about this person that you were oblivious to you were naive to or you chose not to see this and I feel like you chose not to see it because of their looks but I think that whatever it is whatever this revelation is that you get spins you in a new direction Okay, you are definitely moving in a new direction. By October, you will be receiving some sort of reward for basically letting go because of that four of coins. That four of coins reversed is letting go of something that you are holding on to and working together with somebody else. So you may be doing a new partnership. You may be, you may be getting into a partnership with somebody else spontaneously this is a very spontaneous change and I think it's because something happens that uh, puts you in a place of reality it's like you get some sort of reality check you know that whoever it is that you're dealing with is never gonna change and you gotta go you know you gotta you gotta work together with somebody who is gonna reciprocate and give you what you deserve and is real so anyway, I do feel like this week you are going to be thinking about another option. You may be planning. You may be putting things in the works to break free from this situation. I do see a destined change, though, that is happening. In six months from now, you will be working with somebody else. Good luck.